true or false, nudity is never allowed on YouTube. What do you think? The answer is false. While sexually explicit content like pornography isn't allowed, we actually allow nudity when the primary purpose is educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic. And if there's no nudity, but minimal clothing meant only to be sexually provocative, it'll likely be age-restricted. Let's take a look at other examples. A creator uploads a video about the greatest works of art in history, which contains nude artwork. In another video, a creator uploads a compilation of hacked photos and clips that contain nude celebrities. Do either of these videos violate our community guidelines? Yes. The second video violates the sex and nudity policy because the content and purpose of the video is meant to be sexually gratifying. Of course, there are gray areas and lots more to our policy around sex and nudity on YouTube. How much of it do you understand? For example, what if you just made a playlist of clips of celebrity wardrobe accidents? Could your channel get a strike? To learn the answer and more, go to the YouTube Help Center article on sex and nudity. Click here or the link in the description. Thanks for watching. True or false, videos of minors in real school fight. True or false, videos of minors in real school fights are allowed on YouTube. What do you think? The answer is false. Content that endangers the emotional and physical well being of minors is not allowed on YouTube. A minor is someone who's not an adult, which is anyone younger than 18 years old in most countries. If you see content that violates this policy, please report it. If you believe that a child is in danger, you should reach out to your local law enforcement agency to report the situation immediately. Let's look at more examples. A creator uploads a video teaching their child how to ride a dirt bike. The child wears safety equipment appropriately and is well supervised by their parent. Another creator uploads a video featuring a group of minors setting up fireworks without the presence of adults. Do either of these videos violate our community guidelines? Yes, the second video violates the child safety policy. When a child is clearly supervised by an adult, some activities involving risk are allowed as long as those activities don't violate community guidelines. But what about pulling a prank on a kid? Pretending that their family abandoned them? Would that be a violation? To learn that and more, go to the YouTube Help Center article on child safety. Click here or the link in the description. Thanks for watching.